So, Mercedes. Now, Mercedes very, very rarely have a block DPF. They very rarely need cleaning. Um, and I'll show you what the issue is. So we've got 13 play uh, E250. Um, exactly the same. We've got, this is the main code that everyone gets, which is the certain of DPF is not okay. This one is actually pointing to the most common fault, which is the input sensor, um, the differential pressure for the, set, for the DPF. So we go to data stream and I'll show you what the issue is. So on these, we've got not only a DPF pressure sensor, we've also got exhaust back pressure sensor. So the DPF should be reading zero, engine's not running, no pressure, and the exhaust back pressure sensor should be reading around one bar, atmospheric pressure. So as you can see, the differential pressure sensor is not reading zero, it is reading fluctuating between 0 0.02 and 0 0.05. Um, when you start her up, Give her a good hard rev. We're looking for pressure under two and a half PSI. So she's around 1.2 PSI. So the DPF on this car is absolutely clean as a whistle. It does not need cleaning. It just needs a new sensor. It's obviously having a bit of a hissy fit, um, which is the most common thing. Usually what you'll see is this will be reading one bar exactly the same as the exhaust back pressure sensor. Um, and when you start it up, it doesn't move. This one isn't as bad as normal, um, but we've cleaned probably eight or ten DPFs on Mercedes in ten years they just do not block up so you usually only get the one code for the soot content in the DPF um, if that's the case then obviously look at live data see what the pressure sensor is doing um, and unless you've got a split pipe or a knackered turbo or something the DPF will never need cleaning on a Mercedes and unless you get to about 250,000 then it'll be full of ash but Mercedes are usually pretty good so we'll get the new sensor fitted and um, I'll bring you back old DPF pressure sensor New one is just down the back there. And then the other day on, I don't know what it was. Your daughter had it and she had a new sensor on it. I don't know what one it was, Mike. I don't know. They've probably put a cheap sensor on then because it wasn't even attached, I've just put a screw in it. Oh well, yeah. So we go on back onto live data, differential pressure sensor. Clean as a whistle. Clear faults. Job done.